Hello, my name is Kevin Tar Allen Tarpley, and I'm an American, and I hope I can earn your vote to become one of your new aldermen at large. I'm not the old poll that you are used to hearing from. I'm truly a working class guy who has been volunteering and giving back to the people because that is what we should do as Americans and for the family of humankind. I want to take a few minutes to tell you a little bit about myself and why I believe it's time for change. As a public servant, I believe that all citizens deserve a representative that will consider the desires of who have ch those who have ch been chosen to be, uh, have chosen Somerville to be their home. Those who care about the quality of life and the future of Somerville. Individuals who also want to play a part and helping to shape that future. As the former War II Alderman, I made sure that I created a processes, systems, and opportunities for ward residents to work side by side with me in helping to shape and guide that future and to carry the concerns, issues, and ideals of the ward to the Board of Aldermen. I created and invited residents to serve on what we call the Ward 2 Advisory Committee. This afforded me op an opportunity to get direct advice from individuals who care about the ward. We debated and we shared ideas that would allow us to reach a compromise position, which I could then take to the streets and to the neighborhoods to discuss with the ward residents to test the compromise for the, to further to ensure that the wishes of Ward 2 residents were being properly presented before the Somerville Board of Aldermen. It is incumbent, I believe, that all elected officials figure out how to involve residents in the process outside of the ordinary uh, neighborhood meetings or when they travel to City Hall during the Board of Aldermen's meeting. I will commit to figuring out a similar process citywide to recreate this proven method to connect and involve the people here in the city of Somerville. Around the issue of development, I know that development is an issue and I know it is needed to support the growth of the city, housing, jobs, revenue. However, I firmly believe that we can do this smartly and with the residents involved in a process before a shovel hits the ground. As a matter of fact, I propose res uh, legislation that would require developers to meet with residents before they even went to the various boards, commissions, and panels uh, to hammer out an agreement on the project itself that developers wanted developed. This process would allow for residents to meet directly through a selection of neighborhood representatives to review the project plan, to make recommendations on how the project can be improved or suggest benefits to the neighborhood. This was a successful process which led to off-street parking, which uh, a parking deck on Webster Ave, underground parking on Parker Street, and again, off-street parking at other locations throughout Ward 2. Uh, and I again say to you, I would seek to reintroduce this legislation before the board to ensure that residents are considered first. The issue of a living wage, as the Ward 2 Alderman, I led the fight, I led the effort to secure and su support for the first living wage here in Somerville. I negotiated with a fellow alderman to gain her support, which was, uh, which was greatly needed to secure the majority support. More leadership. As a member of the board, I will be an independent member, as before, working for one Somerville, one mission to serve the people. I will have the guts to challenge uh, the members and the mayor and the interests of the people of Somerville. I will have the guts to work with other members and the mayor in the interests of the people of Somerville. And I will do all this by first and foremost, honoring my word that it is the people first. Where there is confusion, I will commit to seeking clarity. Where there is an answer, no, I will have the backbone to share that with you so that you will have the trust in me to serve you. Labor. I know that the individuals who work for the city are concerned about their ability to continue to live and work here. 
I will commit to advocating for this city to make every effort to share the wealth as this community continues to take in revenue. I will propose that our workers receive a pay raise before the board and the mayor receives one in the future. Our city charter. I would support a review of the city charter to consider changes that will allow the citizens to have a more inclusive pers uh, perspective as to, uh, so that they will be able, the residents will, can have a greater role in shaping and directing uh, the future of the city through various boards, commissions, and councils that serve uh, these important roles as authorizing and consultative bodies under the executive branch of this government. Ladies and gentlemen, I ask that you give me one of your votes, and I hope that throughout the campaign season, I will earn your vote. One Somerville, one mission to serve the people of Somerville. Thank you.